Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the D-Link DAP1320. This is an N300 wireless range extender, operates at up to 300 megabit per second, gives you extended range, it is ready to use, and features advanced security. So what do you need a wireless range extender for? Well, I would postulate that the reason you might be looking for a wireless range extender is that you wish to feed your llamas. Only the best grains. Grain-fed llamas actually produce the best milk. Which, according to my conversation with Slick earlier, where I actually am not allowed to just make things up and state them as fact, uh, may or may not be true. I, I actually don't know that it isn't true, but I don't know that it is true. But I, what, what I know isn't true is that you would be shopping for range extenders for anything that has anything to do with, unless your llamas needed wireless internet. Or if you needed yeah, or if you needed internet while you're feeding the llamas, then you might need one of these. So, right, 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 right. Okay, so how do you use it? Easy push button setup. So it uses WPS, you press the WPS button on the router, then you press and hold the WPS button on the wireless range extender until the LED indicator starts flashing, then you release it, then you're successfully connected. Seriously? Okay, well, apparently it's that easy. So there's a WPS button on your router, there's a WPS button on this guy right here, it plugs right into a wall outlet. So you just press and hold that until the button, I mean the button won't do anything because it's not plugged into the wall, but it'll do something if you plug it into the wall. Let's see if this takes up the outlet next to it. I'm very curious about this because that would be, aha, it does not. Excellent. Love to see that. Thoughtful design. Good work, D-Link. Um, tip for positioning these wireless range extenders. So the most important thing, guys, is make sure you don't place it right at the very edge of your wireless range because even if it does work, the speed will be abysmal. Remember, every time you add a wireless range extender, you are effectively cutting the amount of bandwidth you have in half because it actually has, of that N300 it has, it's got to use half of it to communicate with you and the other half to communicate back to the router. So you're not going to have as much available speed when you use these, but it does give you better wireless coverage. And I realized we forgot to look at the included documentation. Documentation's good, check it out. They include one of these little cards that tells you everything you need to know about your little wireless range extender. They give you a written offer for something. Seriously, get out of here. A uh, quick install guide, which is basically covered already on the outside of the box, but apparently they feel the need to give you a much more complicated quick start guide. Uh, which would in probably include instructions for not using WPS. Oh, look at that. They include two little stickers. You can put a little, you can put a little sticker on the little guy. Look at this. Put that there. Then you can know stuff. That's smart. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the D-Link DAP1320. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.